Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas and today we're going to be talking about a design tool that has been causing quite a huge reaction in the web design, web development community inside of Twitter. And I like to think of it as a tool that's kind of a combination between Figma and ChatGPT. And you know, I'm telling you, this is really the first design tool of its kind. So basically you have an interface with an infinite canvas that allows you to open a chat prompt without writing a single line of code. You can write what you want to create and after a few seconds, you get your designs. And not only is everything editable, meaning you can select certain sections and adjust the sizing, the spacing, the colors, the go even the Google font, but all of these designs are fully functional, meaning you can fully interact with them directly inside the canvas. You can even click through the different buttons of your design to kind of see the different screens that have been generated with the AI. And the best part of it all is that once you're happy with the design, you can easily hand it off to Cursor and build out your, your entire app functionality over there. And that's kind of what I want to go deeper into today. So let's start off with a blank canvas and let's open this little plus tool down here and let's start building something. And as you can see, once we open this magic path basically gives us a few different options to choose from, right? We have simpler things like a sign in card or like a file upload component, but we also have more complicated things like a landing page for my chatbot app. So basically a landing page that consists of different components or sections inside of it. All right, so I wanna start off by creating a drawing component with a small canvas area at the top for drawing and a color palette selector at the bottom where users can choose different colors to draw with, right? So let's click here on submit and you can start seeing that Magic Path already starts to generate the design and this is how it looks like once it starts loading and you can already start seeing the different steps that it's taking to create this specific component. And basically after I think around 10 to 20 seconds, we get this, right? We get exactly what we want, where, where we want a you know, area at the top for drawing and a selector at the bottom to select different colors, right? So right now, as you can see, it's completely interactive, meaning that it, it generates a design and then you don't have to open it in a new tab. You don't have to do anything like that. You can already start testing it out just like this, right? We get different colors. We can try, for example, purple, right? We can try green, right, to do some scribbles over here. And then once we're done, we can click on the clear canvas over here, which clears the canvas. Now let's say I wanna edit this component a little bit. Let's say we can select this div, for example, click over here and we can style it with AI. We can click on edit with AI and you know we can be lazy and not have to do these technical things over here. If you're you know not so into that you know part, it's totally okay, you can do this with AI. But if you want to do it by yourself, you know, let's say that we want to add a different type of fill over here. We have this right now, this um, transparent fill, I guess. We can add a gradient, as you can see, we can add a linear gradient or we can add a radial gradient, for example, and adjust that like this. So it's very, you know, flexible in terms of design. And we can, for example, make this a little bit grayer, light gray, and this top part maybe also a little bit grayish and maybe adjust this. So it's a slight gradient. We can also add things like corner radius, right? We can increase it to something like 10 to make it a little bit more round on the edges. We can add some type of shadow, something like a large shadow. And you know, you can see the preview here, which is pretty cool. This is something that I love about Magic Path that the design, the UI design of this app is just phenomenal. But yeah, let's just adjust some of these settings, right? Radius, shadow. Um, we don't really want to stroke. Maybe we can do some type of small stroke. So we have like a little border outline. We can even adjust the padding on, on some of these areas. So like something like 20 or maybe maybe 10. We have some 10, pa 10 padding on overall on all sides, right? And we can click on save. And we can also, you know, like I said, edit with AI and basically we can just click on this and say, let's add like a dotted pattern here. So then we can click on generate. And then if you scroll inside, you can actually see the dotted, dotted pattern, right? So that's like a perfect little touch. So we kind of, you know, can tell the distinction between the actual canvas where the user can draw on and the color palette area, which, you know, looks like this right now. And voila, we get something like this, right? Very beautiful design. Again, we can just click on a color 
let's just draw something, right? A little guy with a nose and ears and hair and whatnot. Um, and looks pretty cool. All right, and now once we are happy with our, you know, little drawer over here, right? What we can do is we can click on this code icon over here. Well, first of all, we can click on this open in a, in a new tab to kind of preview it on a new tab. But what if we want to have it in our own, you know, device? What if we want to have it in a in, inside of cursor or something like that? Well, we can click on this icon up here. And basically, it's just one file. Usually when you build an app, it has multiple files. We're going to see that right now in a second. But we can download the code base and upload it to something like GitHub, for example, or we can open it in cursor. And so I'm just going to click on this button over here. And we get this little card that says copy paste this in your terminal. So and we have different options, right? I'm just going to select this NPM, click on copy full command. And then I'm going to open my terminal and I'm just going to paste this in like this, wait for it to load. And then we're just going to click on enter again. And let's rename this. Let's call this like our color, color component. And let's click on enter. And it's installing the dependencies using yarn. And then we want to open it in cursor. So let's click, uh, let's, let's click on enter. And as you can see, now my cursor is opening. And it's open like this in a new window. And by the way, if cursor doesn't open automatically for you, I would highly suggest you look at this comment right here by Himmel Maj, open your cursor app, do this, and then type this and then install that and then it should work. You have to just reopen your, your terminal again and it should work. And once we're inside of cursor, we have the different things. We have the HTML, HTML file, we have the different packages, we have the different um, TypeScript files, we have the different JSON files and so on and so forth. And we also have the app uh, file right here. And basically what we can do is we can say, we can ask the AI agent inside of cursor to kind of run this app inside of our browser, right? So we can say something like run this to localhost, click on enter. And again, you can do this, you know, manually inside of the terminal down here. But if you're a noob, we can do it with the AI. And then we have this command that's ask that it's asking us to run, right? Let's click on run. And then we get this localhost 5173. I'm just gonna, you know, command click on this. And we get this inside of our machine in a local host. And basically it works just fine, right? We have the different options over here and we can, uh, you know, draw something. And then what we can also do is we can do like something like this is a drawing component, please add an undo button, click on submit. And then we can accept the changes that's that it suggested us to do. And then basically we can, you know, yarn dev this again go into Google Chrome and draw something and try to test this out. And you see, it actually works. So if we draw two things, that second one gets deleted and then the other one gets deleted like that. So this is kind of like the fundamentals of, you know, starting the design with a tool like Magic Path, bringing it into Cursor, and then, you know, actually implementing the new features inside of Cursor and, and building your app like that. And then what we, what we can do also in Magic Path is not only design components like what we just did here, we can also design apps. So, for example, build a CRM for a small design agency of three people, you know, wanting to manage certain clients, wanting to manage their clients and projects, right? So let's just click on enter and we end up getting this really nice interface, right? Again, if we were to just adjust this, you can start seeing that everything is perfectly responsive. It looks amazing. Right, this is such a great design tool, right? And again, we could edit certain things. We can create different variants. We can create flows, right? Um, we can click on certain sections to see how it kind of looks like. And we can start seeing that we can either click on these icons on the left or we can click on the uh, tabs up here on the top, right? But let's just go ahead and bring this into cursor. So again, I'm just gonna go over here click on this code icon and you can start seeing that we have a little bit more of these TSX files, which is totally fine. So let's just click on open in cursor. 
and let's make sure that we have npm you can also do any of these tools uh, basically work as well but let's just do npm copy full command and then i'm just going to open my terminal click paste over here it's going to start opening we're going to do right here to this user folder that i have and we're going to do what is it crm design agency right click on enter downloading the project project downloaded unpacking installing dependencies and then let's just click on cursor again you just want to make sure that that's that little uh, workaround is installed and we have it here right so we can you know we can do that command to, to run it locally with a localhost url or we can continue to to build right all right and we have this nice studio craft with a beautiful design right it's a it's a extremely beautiful design. I just want to go like this just to make sure that everything is kind of responsive. And as you can see, it is responsive, right? Some sections might not be as responsive as, as others. I can see that this dashboard is like the most responsive one, but um, you know, it's, it's going to a great direction and a lot of things are already working, right? And this is something we already have this, this little responsive sidebar. As you can see, there are a few things that we need to fix, but it's a great, great start to just you know get going in seconds so we can also start saying like this is a crm for a design agency in the clients page when the user clicks on add a new add a new client give us a pop-up where you ask the user to input several important informations um, about the client right you can send that and it's basically given us a few different suggestions on what to accept or reject right we have um, different changes in two different files let's just click on accept all and then once we're in the local host again, we go to the clients page and we click on add a new client. And with the same type of UI that we created inside of Magic Path, the cursor basically generates this nice little pop-up with different inputs to basically add a client into this specific client list. And basically what you can also do is you can ask the uh, cursor AI agent to basically push this into GitHub and create a repository. And it basically goes through the whole steps and you know, you just have to follow a few things. And basically once you get that done, you have your repository with all your files and you can go ahead and, you know, do whatever you want with this. You can open it in something like Replit right now, for, for example. So you can get this and make it public, import from GitHub, you know, and you can continue building with Cursor or you can continue building with Replit. So as you can see, all of the files have been, you know, basically tr transported over here. And all you have to do is kind of like install everything again, but you know, you can you could eventually end up building everything here as well. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. We went from designing something inside of Magic Path to eventually, you know, bringing that into Cursor, right? Where we get the code, all the code open there. We have our Cursor AI agent to kind of help us, you know, add new features if we wanted to, or actually, you know, push us into GitHub or give us some type of preview link, right? We go into Chrome, we have the preview link. It looks great. It looks very responsive, beautiful design. Um, you know, the, the functions or the features that Cursor helped us add are here as well. Once we push this into something like GitHub, we could also bring it into Replit and it all stemmed from Magic Path. So that kind of shows you how powerful this tool really is because you can, you know, you don't have to be a designer, you can start generating. And if you are a designer, this is a great first step for you to kind of build out a nice little template and build off of that. So hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you wanna watch some more, or if you wanna dive deeper into some other concepts about this tool, please let me know in the comments below. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, goodbye.